okay so last class we did problems on circles so we did parametric equation of circle and we did the problems on uh, uh, the circles and we find the center and radius when an equation is given so today we do an important problem so these are very very important questions uh, examination point of view these are very important today's class so the the first problem of today's class is find the equation of circle find the equation of circle which passes through 2 comma minus 3 and minus 4 comma 5 and having the center on the line and having the center and having the center on the line and having the center on the line on the line 4x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is a question it's a very important question seven marks so here we have to find out the equation of circle so i'll assume the equation of circle let the equation of circle let the equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f5 plus c is equal to 0 i am assuming it as equation 1 i am assuming the equation of circle as a general equation why i am assuming this here two points 2 comma minus 3 and minus 4 comma 5 passes through equation 1 because find the equation of circle which passes through that means these two points passes through the circle that circle equation we are assuming as a general equation so after assuming what i do the first point is 2 comma minus 3 see 2 comma minus 3 passes through this equation so substitute this 2 comma minus 3 in the equation so instead of x mark 2 instead of y minus 3 so 2 square 4 minus 3 square 9 plus 2g into 2 Plus 2f into minus 3. I am substituting instead of x2 and instead of y minus 3. Plus c is equal to 0. So we get 4g minus 6f plus c is equal to 4 plus 9 is 13. Transpose on the other side. It is minus 13. I am representing as equation 2. I am substituting the point 2 comma minus 3. So I got this. 4 plus 9 13. Transpose on the other side. We become Minus thirty. After getting equation two, the next point is minus four comma five. Minus four comma five. Also, you substitute in this equation. Minus four squared is sixteen. Five squared twenty five plus two g into x value minus four plus two f into y value is five plus c is equal to zero. So we get. Minus 8g plus 10f plus c is equal to 16 plus 25 is 41. So you write it as minus 41. Let me transpose on the other side. Minus 41. So with those two points, we got two equations. That is 4g minus 6f plus c is equal to minus 13 and minus 8g plus 10f plus c is equal to minus 41. So now what we do is the second condition. The other condition is having the center on the line 4x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to zero. That means, see, now we have to find out the equation of circle. That circle equation we are assuming as a general equation. So what is the center of this equation? It is minus g comma minus f. So here the condition is center lies on the line. So what is the center? Minus g comma minus f lies on this line. So that statement I write. See here, the center minus g comma minus f lies on the line. The line is 4x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. 4x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. So now this minus g minus f will substitute instead of x and y. So what we get? It is 4 into minus g plus 3 into minus f plus 1 is equal to 0. So simplify this. If we simplify what we get, minus 4g 
minus 3f is equal to minus 1. This is equation number 4. Okay, so we got equation 4. Now what you have to do is, we have to get the values of g, f and c. Then we can substitute in equation 1. So how to get those values? Now, what we do, solve 2 and 3 and eliminate C. See, solve 2 and 3 and eliminate C. Why we have to eliminate C? The reason is, in equation 4, you don't have C. So, solve 2 and 3 and eliminate C. So, I am solving equations 2 and 3. Solve 2 and 3. So, here, what is equation 2? 4g minus 6f plus c is equal to minus 13 and after this equation 3 I am substituting so minus 8g minus 8g plus 10f plus c is equal to minus 41 ok I just solve the 2 so clearly if I subtract you have to change the signs of the second term. If I subtract, I have to change the signs of the second term. So now, 8G, uh, 4G plus 8G will become 12G. Minus 6F minus 10F will become minus 16F. Plus C minus C cancels. Now, 41 minus 15 we have to do. So this is, it is 28. So now, clearly we can take 4 common from the equation. 4 3s are 12. 4 4s are 16. 4 7s are 28. This we represent it as equation number 5. This is equation number 5. Now what we do? We will solve 4 and 5. Why we have to solve 4 and 5? You can observe. See. Why we have to solve 4 and 5? In 4th equation, G and F terms. In 5th equation also we have G and F terms. So, you can eliminate either D or F. So now I am writing equation 4. Minus 4G minus 3F is equal to minus 1. Okay. The next equation 5 it is 3G minus 4F is equal to 7. Now to eliminate what we have to do is see. I will multiply equation 4 with 3. Then I will multiply equation 5 with 4. That means interchange the coefficients and multiply. Coefficient of e you multiply with this above equation. Coefficient of e is minus 4 but multiply with 4 with the next equation. So if I multiply minus 12g, that means I multiply this way. minus 9f is equal to minus 3. Then I multiply with 4. So we get 12g. 4 3s are 12. 4 4s are 16. 4 7s are 28. I multiply. After multiplying, clearly minus 12g plus 12g cancels. Please cancel this. Now, minus 9f minus 16f is minus 25f. Minus 9f minus 16f is minus 25f. Is equal to 28 minus 3 is 25. So, I got minus 25f is equal to 25. So, we can get the value of f. We can get the value of f. So, we can get the value of f. So, what is f? f is equal to minus, sorry, 25 by minus 25. So, f value is minus 1. After that what we have to do is substitute substitute f is equal to minus 1 in equation 4 or 5. Why have to substitute f is equal to minus 1 in 4 or 5? I can get the value of g if I substitute. You can use 4 or 5. So f is equal to minus 1 in equation 4 and 10. You can also take 5 no problem. If I take 4, I am writing equation 4. It is minus 4g minus 3f is equal to minus 1. I am substituting now. So, 
minus 4g minus 3 into f value is minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So now, so now I get the value of uh, g value minus 4g plus 3 is equal to minus 1. Minus 4g is equal to minus 1 minus 3. Okay. Minus 4g plus 3 is equal to minus 1. Minus 4g is equal to minus 1 and minus 3. So what is minus 4g we are ready? It is minus 4. So what is g value? Minus minus cancel. It is 4 by 4 implies what is g value we have? 1. So now we got f value as minus 1 and g value as 1. Now what we have to do is you have to substitute f and g in an equation which you have c. So in, in, in which equation you have c? You have c in equation 2 and equation 6. You can refer in equation 2 and equation 3 you have c. C and it's here. 4g minus c sub plus c. You can use this equation 2. Or you can also use equation 3 minus 8g plus n up plus c. Anyone we can take to get the value of c. So what I do is now substitute c. Substitute g and f in g and f in equation 2. I am substituting equation 2. See you can refer from your book. Okay, so what is equation 2 we have? It is 4g minus 6f plus c is equal to minus 30. I am substituting now. So, 4 into 1. G value I am substituting. G value is 1. Minus 6 into f value. What is f value? Minus 1 plus c is equal to minus 13. See, 4 into g. G value is 1. F value is minus 1. C as it is. Minus 30 as it is. So, we get 4 plus 6 plus c is equal to minus 30. So, 10 plus c is equal to minus 30. c is equal to minus 13 minus 10. I am transposing. So, what is c value? It is minus 23. Okay. So, we got gfc values. Okay. After getting gfc values, what we have to do? We need to substitute in equation 1. I'll repeat. See, after getting G, G, F, C values, we need to substitute in equation 1. So, substitute G, F and C in equation 1. So, what is equation 1? It's square. That equation 1, I'm writing it. Starting when we assume general equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So, x square plus y square plus 2 into g value. What is g value? 1. x value is 2 into f value is minus 1 into y. And what is c value? It is minus 23. So, right, minus 23 is equal to 0. So, what is the equation of circle? x square plus y square plus 2x minus 2y. 2x minus 2y. Minus 23 is equal to 0. So, this is the equation of circle. Or this is the required equation of circle. So, see, what we did? I will repeat this problem. What we did? Two points are given to us. These two points we are substituting in general equation. So that we got equation, equation 2 and equation 3. Now after that what we did? We are solving equation 2 and equation 3. After that the center lies on the line. That means minus g minus f. We substitute, we substitute in that line. After, that, after solving we get the values of g and f. g and f values again you have to substitute in equation which you have. C. After that, getting all the three values, substitute back in the general equation. So, G, F, C. Then, we get an equation of circle. So, this problem is completed.
Now we will do a similar problem. Similar problem of this type. It's very important. Okay, so next problem. So next question. Find the equation of circle which passes through 4 comma 1 and 6 comma 5 and having the center on the line 4x plus 3y minus 24 is equal to 0. So here also the same problem, same method. Okay. So we assume let the equation of circle x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 as equation 1. I am assuming the general equation. See, whenever you get a points, you assume this general equation. After that, 4 comma 1, the first point is 4 comma 1. 4 comma 1 passes through the general equation. So substitute that 4 comma 1. 4 square 16, 1 square 1 plus 2g into x value is 4 plus 2f into y value is 1 plus c is equal to 0. I am substituting. So 8g plus 2f plus c is equal to 16 plus 1 is 17. Transpose on the other side. Now we get minus 70 and this equation 2. Now, after substituting 4 comma 1, you have 6 comma 5. So, 6 comma 5 passes through equation 1. That is the reason I am substituting. 6 square 36. I am substituting here. 6 square 36. 5 square 25. 6 square 36. 5 square 25. Plus 2g into x value is 6. y value is 5. Plus c is equal to 0. So now 12g plus 10f plus c is equal to 36 plus 65 is sorry 36 plus 25 is minus 61. Transpose on the other side. So this is equation 3. So with those two points we got equation 2 and equation 3. This is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now, two conditions are over. Next condition is having the center on the line 4x plus 3y minus 24. So, here center. The center is nothing but minus g comma minus f. Center is nothing but minus g comma minus f. The center minus g comma minus f lies on the line 4x plus 3y minus 24 is equal to 0. It's given the problem that center lies on the line. So I am substituting minus g comma minus f in this line. So wherever you have x, you substitute minus g and wherever you have y, you substitute minus f. Substitute. So what we get? 4 into minus g plus 3 into minus f minus 24 is equal to 0. So simplify minus 4g minus 3f minus 4g minus 3f is equal to 24 minus 24 you write down okay no problem sorry uh, minus 24 is equal to 0 so one more step minus 4g minus 3f is equal to 24 equation number 4 so this is equation number 4 so we have equation 2, equation 3, equation 4. Now what I do, I will solve equation 2 and equation 3 and I will eliminate the value of C. Okay, I will eliminate the value of C. So I am solving. So solve. Solve 2 and 3. Solve 2 and 3. So what is equation 2? I will write now. 8g plus 2f plus c is equal to minus 17. Okay, now equation 3 I am writing. It is 12g plus 10f plus c. 12g plus 10f plus c is equal to minus 61. So here we have to eliminate c. So simply you subtract. Sign will changes for the second terms. Okay, this is the second term. This is the first term, this is the second term. Second term, signs will change. 8g minus 12g is 
minus 4g plus 2f minus 10f is minus 8f plus c minus c cancels is equal to 61 minus 17 up to it is 44 okay so clearly we can take 4 common or minus 4 common anything we can take common I will take 4 common so 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8 4 11s are 44 I took 4 common on both sides so 4 1s are 4 means no need to write 1 it is understood that coefficient of g is 1 so minus g minus 2 f is equal to 11 this is equation number 5 see we have equation 2 equation 3, equation 4 and equation 5. After getting equation 5, what I do? I will solve 4 and 5. Then we start getting the values of G, F and C. So, solve 4 and 5. So, I am writing equation 4. It is minus 4G, minus 4G, minus 3F is equal to 24. Minus 4G minus 3F is equal to 24. Now what is equation 5? It is minus G minus 2F is equal to 11. Now we have to eliminate either G or F to solve this. So what I will do is I will multiply coefficient. Actually the coefficient of G is minus 4. So here just multiply this with 4 and this one you multiply with one just interchange and multiply so minus 4g minus 3f is equal to 24 and the next one is uh, minus 4g minus 8f minus 4g minus 8f is equal to 44 I now I subtract so signs will change this is plus plus minus minus 4g plus 4g you can cancel 8f minus 3f is 5f is equal to see this is minus 44 minus 44 plus 24 is minus 20 so what is f value we get minus 4 f is minus 20 by 5 so f value is minus 4 so we got the value of f after getting the value of f what we have to do See, after getting the value of f, what I will do is substitute, substitute f is equal to minus 4 in equation number 4 or 5. See, you can use either 4 or 5. Why? Because, why we have to use either 4 or 5? See, if I substitute, if I substitute the value of f in equation 5, I will get directly the value of G. So that is the reason I am substituting. Suppose if you are considering equation 2 or 3. Here we have two unknowns. See you know the value of F. But if you substitute the value of F. We have two unknowns. G and C we don't know. We can't get again. We get a equation. So what you have to do is. After getting the F value. You have to substitute F is equal to minus 4. Either in equation 4 or in equation 5. Anyone you can use. So that you can get the next value that is G. So now I am substituting equation 5. So what is equation 5? It is minus G minus G minus 2F is equal to 11. So minus G minus 2 into minus 4 is equal to 11. Substitute it. So what we get? Minus G plus 8 is equal to 11. So minus G is equal to 11 minus 8. Minus G is equal to 3. So G is equal to how much we are getting? Minus 3. Now you have F value, G value. So what is the next one? We need G, F and next one is we need C. So what I do is substitute F and G in equation. See in which equation you have C? You have in 2 and 3. Any one equation you can use to find the value of C. So what I do? I will use equation 2. You can also use 
equation 3. But I am using 2. So what is equation 2? It is 8G plus 2F plus C is equal to minus 17. I just repeated equation 2. Now I am substituting 8 into G value minus 3 plus 2 into F value minus 4 plus C is equal to minus 17. So minus 24 minus 8 plus C is equal to minus 17. Calculate. Minus 24 minus 8 is minus 32 plus C is equal to minus 17. So C is equal to 32 minus 17. So what is C value? It is 15. 32 minus 17 is 15. Now we have, see, now we have F value. What is F value? Minus 4. And we also have G value and C value. We have all the three. Now G and C values, you have to substitute back in equation 1. So, what we do is, we substitute. After this, substitute G, F, C in equation 1. So, what is equation 1? It is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. In this equation, I will substitute. So, here x squared, y squared are variables as it is 2 into g value minus 3 x. 2 into f value minus 4 and c value it is 15 is equal to 0. Now we will simplify this equation to get the required equation of circle. Simplify that means it is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 15 is equal to 0. Let's multiply minus 6x minus 8 by plus 15 is equal to 0. This is a required equation of circle. So this completes the problem. See next question. Find the equation of circle whose center lies on x-axis. Whose center lies on x-axis and passing through the points minus 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5. So here the important thing is Center lies on x axis. That means circle. Center lies on x axis. The center is on x axis. Center lies on x axis. Center lies on x axis. See. On x-axis, on x-axis, the point or the general point is x comma 0 or sometimes you can also assume k comma 0. That means on x-axis, y coordinate is 0. So here, here generally what we do is, we assume the equation of the circle. Let the equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. We will do this equation of circle. As the center lies on x axis, the center of the circle is minus g comma minus c. The center of this equation one is minus g comma minus c. But the condition is center lies on x axis. So on x axis y coordinate is 0. So here here the y coordinate is minus f. So minus f is to be equal to 0. So clearly, whenever center lies on x axis, f value is 0. So directly I will write f is equal to 0. So given, given center lies on x axis, 
our center lies on x axis f is equal to 0 you can write directly f is equal to 0 now we got the value of f directly now the next is they gave the points so what is the first point they gave minus 2 comma 3 minus 2 comma 3 passes through the circle so this is circle we are achieving substitute minus 2 comma 3 minus 2 square 4 and what is y value is 9 and 2 into g into x value is minus 2 ok now what is f value 0 so here if i substitute f as 0 this term is eliminated we don't get the term so i am not substituting 3 instead of 2 f y so eliminate that after that what we have plus c is equal to 0 ok since the value of f is 0 if i substitute this 0 and 3 this whole term will become 0 0 and everything is 0 so eliminate the term and write the remaining c now we get minus 4g plus c is equal to minus 13. This is equation number 2. Okay. Now the next point is 4 comma 5. 4 comma 5 passes through this equation. General equation, equation 1. Substitute that. 4 square 16. 5 square 25 plus 2 into g into x value is 4 but this y, y value this is 5 I am not substituting instead of 2 and 2 f because f value is 0 eliminate that one and write plus c is equal to 0 so we get 8g plus c is equal to minus 41 this is equation number 3 now very simple if you solve 2 and 3, directly the C gets eliminated. So solve 2 and 3. Solve 2 and 3. I am solving equation 2 and equation 3. What is equation 2? It is minus 4G plus C is equal to minus 13. Okay. And what is equation 3? It is 8G plus C is equal to minus 41. Now I will solve. If I solve this plus c will become minus c. This plus a will become minus a. Minus 41 will become plus 41. Change the size. So minus 4g minus 8g is minus 12g plus c minus c cancels. Now 41 minus 13. It is 28. See, 41 minus 13 is 28. So now, what is G value? What is G value we get? So, G is equal to, G is equal to 28 by 12. 28 by 12. So, we can simplify 28 by minus 12. Sorry, 28 by minus 12. So, G is equal to 4 7s are 28. 4 3s are 12 and minus sign as it is. You can write either in the numerator or denominator. So, what is g value? Minus 7 by 3. After getting g value minus 7 by 3, we also have f value. Only we need is c value. So, substitute, substitute g value in equation 2 or 3. Any one you can use so that you get c value. So, which one we will use? Either 2 or 3. We will use 2 in equation 2. I am substituting in equation 2. So, minus 4g, I am writing this. Minus 4g plus c is equal to minus 13. I am substituting. So, minus 4 into g value minus 7 by 3. g value is minus 7 by 3 plus c is equal to minus 13. So, 28 by 3 plus C is equal to minus 30. So, what is C is equal to minus 30 minus 28 by 3. I transpose 28 by 3 on the other side. Minus 30 minus 28 by 3. So, now C is equal to C is equal to C is equal to 
I'm taking LCM, see, minus 13 minus 28 by 3. If I take LCM, minus 39 minus 28 by 3, to took LCM, minus 39 minus 28 by 3. So, C value is minus 67 by 3. So, we got C value. Now, we have, see, we have F value. Okay. We have G value. G, F, C. All the three we got. Now, what we have to do? All the three we have to substitute back in equation 1. So, substitute. Substitute. G, F and C in equation 1. So, again I repeat that equation 1. What is equation 1? It is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now I am substituting. When I substitute the variables x square plus y square as it is. What is g value? g value is minus 7 by 3 plus 2 into minus 7 by 3 x. What is f value? It is 0. So if I substitute 0, this term is eliminated, so no need to the substitution because it is 0. Now what is c value? Minus 67 by 3 is equal to 0. Now we will simplify this x square plus y square minus 14x by 3 minus 67 by 3 is equal to 0. Now we will simplify this. We take LCM. So what we get? 3x square plus 3y square minus 14x minus 67 is equal to 0. See when we take LCM we get y3 but why I am not writing that 3? If you cross multiply 0 into anything will become 0. So that is the reason I am not writing y3. So this is the required equation of circle. So this problem is complicated. So next problem. Find the equation of circle which passes through the points. So, 3 points are given which passes through the points. 3 comma 4. 3 comma 2 and 1 comma 4. So here all the three points are passes through the circle. So whenever a point passes through the circle, we have to assume the general equation. So let the equation of circle be assume as x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. We are assuming the general equation of circle. Put it as equation. 1. So, same method. First, it is given that 3 comma 4. 3 comma 4 passes through equation 1. This is 4. 3 comma 4. Substitute in this equation. First equation. 3 square 9. 4 square 16. 3 square 9. 4 square 16. This 3 I will substitute instead of x. 2g into 3 plus 2f into 4. 3 comma 4 I am substituting. Plus c is equal to 0. So, we get, first I will simplify this, 6g plus 8f plus c is equal to minus 25. Plus 9 plus 6 is 25. Plus so we get equation 2. Okay. Now, next point. What is the other one we have? 3 comma 2. Substitute 3 comma 2. N equation 1. Okay. 3 square 9. 2 square 4. 2g into x value is 3, 2f into y value is 2, okay, x value 3, y value 2, I'm substituting, plus c is equal to 0, so 6g plus 4f plus c is equal to 9 plus 4, 13 transpose on the other side, this is equation 3, okay, next, the last point given as 1 comma 4, so write 1 comma 4. Now substitute 1 comma 4 in equation 1. So 1 square 1. 1 square 1. 4 square 16. Plus 2gx. X is 1. Okay. X is 1. And y value is 4. So 2f into 4. 2f into 4. 
plus c is equal to zero. So we get two g plus eight f plus c. Two g plus eight f plus c is equal to sixteen plus one is seventeen. Transpose on the other side will become minus seventeen. This is equation four. Okay, so using those three points, three comma four, three comma two, one comma four, we got equation two. Equation three. Equation four. Now by solving these three equations, two, three, and four, we get g, f, and c. First, we solve two and three. Solve two and three. Okay. So, what is equation two? It is six g plus eight f plus c is equal to minus twenty five. Okay. Then equation three is six g plus four f plus c is equal to Minus thirteen. See, we are solving these two and subtract these two so that sides change. Minus six g, minus four f, minus c, and plus thirteen because already it is minus. Okay. After changing the signs, clearly plus six g minus six g cancels. Eight f minus four f is four f. Plus c minus c cancels is equal to minus twenty five plus thirteen. Five minus three is two. Two minus one is one. It is minus twelve. Okay. Four f. Four f is equal to minus twelve. Minus twenty five plus seven is minus twelve. So now we can get the value of f. So f is equal to minus twelve by four. Minus twelve by four is minus three. So we got f value. Now. We we solve two and three. Now we we'll solve three and four. Okay, solve three and four. We we'll see what we get. Three and four. Okay, so equation three. Equation three is six g plus four f. Six g six g plus four f plus c is equal to minus thirteen. Okay, I wrote equation three. Equation four. I'm writing equation four. Two g plus eight f plus c plus c is equal to minus seventeen. Now I'm subtract minus 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 and plus subtract. Six g minus two g is four g plus four f minus eight f. It is minus four f plus c minus c cancels is equal to Plus seventy minus thirteen is four. So clearly, we can take four common on both sides. So what we get? G minus f is equal to one. Now we we'll give some number for this equation. See, two, three, four, and this will equation five. Now we got equation five. Now what we have to do is see. We already have f value. What is f is equal to? Minus three. This f is equal to minus three. I'll substitute in equation five so that I get the value of g. So now substitute f is equal to minus three in equation five. Substitute. So g as it is minus f value is minus three. I'm substituting f as minus three minus sign as it is is equal to one. So g plus three is equal to one. G is equal to minus two because it is one minus three is minus two. Now we also have the value of g. We have g and f. Now we need c value. So now just see this here. G and f you can substitute in two. You have seen it. Or you can substitute in three. Or you can substitute in four. To get the value of c, you can use f and g values in two, three, or four. Any one of these three, either two or three or four. Any one you can use. So I am using equation two. So to get the value of c, what I do? I'll substitute f and g in equation 
2. So you can do it in 3 or 4, no problem. Okay. I will use it in equation 3. So I will write equation 3 that is 6G plus 4F plus C is equal to minus 13. Now I am shooting. 6 into G value, what is G value? Minus 2. Plus 4 into F value, minus 3. Plus C is equal to minus 13. I am substituting. So we get minus 12, minus 12, plus C is equal to minus 13. So minus 24 plus C is equal to minus 13. So what is C is equal to? It is minus 13 plus 24. C is equal to 11. What is C value we got? 11. Now we need an equation of circle. Always after getting GFC values, what we have to do? After getting GFC values, we have to substitute back in equation 1. In this general equation. So, substitute G, F, C in equation 1. So, I am substituting now. So, what is equation of circle? x square plus y square plus 2gx. I am directly substituting in equation 1. What is g value? Minus 2. Minus 2x plus 2 into f value minus 3 into y. See, x square plus y square as it is 2gx I substituted. 2f y plus c. What is c value we have? 11. So, plus 11 is equal to 0. So, what is the equation of circle we are getting? x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 11 is equal to 0. It's a required equation of circle. So, these are today's class is very very important class. Examination point of view, these are very very important. All the problems are 7 marks problems. So, please practice these problems. So, next class we will continue the class. Thank you.